So in scripture, we see that during years of plenty, storehouses were being filled up. And then when the famine came, the nations were able to eat. And so I feel like that is something that is very valuable to implement in our homes. Whenever money might be a little bit more plenty, it is a good time to stock your pantries. So when the hard times come, you have food. What makes your garden grow water and sunshine? What makes your spirit grow knowing that should be mine? Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to Freedom Homestead. My name is Tangie, and if you are new here, we are a family of four. Uh, our children are not really children anymore. Uh, our daughter is 20 years old, and our son is almost 17. We live in Western Kentucky, and if you go back and you watch some of our grocery hauls, you'll see that we have had times of plenty, and we've had times of not as plenty and right now we're kind of going through a season where it's not as plenty and so we are really tightening up the budget this week after going over our finances um we decided that 60 dollars would be the top of our grocery budget and so i'm going to turn you around and show you what i got and then we're going to discuss some of my thinking some of my tips on how you can trim your grocery budget um, and still feed your family well. And yeah, so let's turn around and get to it. All right, so please forgive all of the produce in the background that is not part of the uh, grocery haul. Uh, from here down, not that one either. <laughs> this is what I purchased today. So today I went to Meyer and I went to Aldi. Um, so here, this is the only thing I bought at Meyer. This is some Faye Greek yogurt. And this little uh, container of plain yogurt was $1.39, I think. And everything else I got at Aldi. Okay, so I got two bags of white round tortilla chips and those were $1.79 a piece. I got a box of golden round crackers. I think they were $2.19. Uh, got some deli sliced cheese. This was $1.95. I got some low sodium bacon, and this was on sale. It was like originally four. 70 something, and I think it was marked down to 430 something. So it, it may have been about 50 cents off somewhere around there. Um, I got some white whole mushrooms. These were a dollar and some change. I got a block of mozzarella and a block of sharp cheddar, and those were a dollar 99 a piece. Now, this is something that I actually got for a video. This is brie. Now, I will tell you that I had originally planned on using goat cheese. The goat cheese was the same price, but for only four ounces. So, I decided to change things up and get the brie. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten it. I would have probably got something else. Um, some sour cream. We got uh, a head of lettuce. I think the lettuce was $1.55. The sour cream was a dollar something. Um, I got two cans of diced tomatoes. I believe they were 74 cents each. Uh, the green beans were 58 cents each. Uh, creamer, I believe was 278. This five pound bag of red skin potatoes, I believe was 409. Um, I got a two pound bag of carrots and it was a dollar. It was less than $2. I can't remember off the top of my head how much it was. Um, I got some yellow onions. These were $2.69, I believe. Bananas were $0.48 cents a pound. Uh, butter was $3 and some change. I have gone through all of my cheap butter that I was able to stock up on earlier this year. Um, I got it when it was like $1.99 a pound. Um, so we have gone through that stock and so now I'm having to get this crazy expensive butter. That's okay. Um, I've got some chicken breasts. Uh, this, this three pound bag of frozen chicken breasts was $8.95. They had no fresh chicken breasts at all. Um, I got this bag of pure cane sugar. It was like $2.59. And then I got two gallons of whole milk. They were $1.99 each. So that is my $60 grocery haul. 
just to share some of the frugal thoughts that I had behind buying some of this stuff. So you'll notice that I got two gallons of milk. I don't normally do that, but I also got at all at uh, Meyer this cup of uh, yogurt. I'm actually going to be making yogurt because that was a lot uh, more economical. Um, I do have videos on how to do that, so I will put those down in the description box below for you. We have lots of frozen fruit in our freezers, um, so we can make smoothies, we can make parfaits. Possibilities are endless. You can also use yogurt in baking. Um, just You can use it as a um, sour cream, and you can even make yogurt cheese with it, which is kind of like cream cheese, so another really great tip. Okay, the potatoes, the onions and the carrots. That's another tip is root vegetables not only are very healthy, but they are more economical and they make dinners stretch. So definitely consider adding more root vegetables to your diet. So you're also going to notice that I got sandwich cheese, but not deli meat. And that is because Jack and I were talking about this before I left. What you can buy deli meat for these days, you can also get like real meat. And I said, if pound for pound, if we just bought some chicken breasts and grilled them and sliced them thin for sandwiches, we would actually save a lot of money. So where one pound of deli meat is going to cost you about five bucks, even for the cheap stuff, for $8.95, I got three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We'll thaw these out, we'll marinate them, and we'll put them on the grill or the smoker, and they will have yummy, delicious, real meat sandwiches for their lunches this week. So that's another tip. And then you're also going to see, I did get tortilla chips and I did get crackers, and that's because we have strawberry jalapeno jam that I made and we like to eat it with <laughs> the cream cheese. I think it is important to get a few things that your family does enjoy, if you can because it boosts the morale of the family. <laughs> okay, so I don't normally do this in grocery hauls. I just talk about the food and then we wrap it up. But I feel like there's probably some of y'all that are watching this and you're kind of going through the same thing that a lot of folks, including ourselves, are going through, which is that times are a little tough right now and so you might not have the grocery budget that you normally do so i wanted to share some um, suggestions things that i know that i do whenever we have to really tighten up on the budget and hopefully it will help some of you and i would love it if some of you would share your tips in the comment section in scripture we see that during years of plenty storehouses were being filled up and then when the famine came the nations were able to eat and so i feel like that is something that is very valuable to implement in our homes whenever money might be a little bit more plenty it is a good time to stock your pantries so when the hard times come you have food and so that's what we've been able to do. Now, is my pantry where I would love for it to be? No. We, If you've been following us, you know that we've, we're pretty much starting from scratch, um, or we have been since the beginning of the year. But we have been able to put up food. And so because of that, everything that I've gotten today is in addition to what we already have, and that is a blessing. Tip number one is during years of plenty, fill your storehouses. Tip number two, before you go shopping, shop what you already have. Pull together meals with the ingredients that you already have on hand, and then when you shop, just get the things to fill in the holes. For example, if you have potatoes, onions, chicken broth, then you can plan a potato soup. And to that, you can get your bacon bits, you know, your little creature comforts um, to keep that, boost the morale of the troops. Know what I'm saying? We are down to one roll of paper towels and I did not buy them because we cannot eat them. 
I have lots of dish towels. And so what I am going to do here shortly is I am actually, where I normally keep my basket of dish towels under the sink, I'm actually going to put them out on the counter so they will be convenient for spills, to wipe pans, and do things like that. And what little bit of that uh, paper towel roll that we do have, we can use for the really gross, grimy, greasy things. Um, but when those run out, we'll just use old t-shirts, old towels, things that we don't really care about getting really gross. Buy whole foods, buy single ingredient foods when you can, because that is where you're gonna save your money. Yes, it means that you're going to have to put more work into preparing your foods, but you can also do that smart by planning ahead, and using some kitchen tools that make life a little easier, such as a crock pot, a slow cooker, whatever you wanna call it, an electric pressure cooker, like an instant pot. Um, and, but planning, planning, planning is going to be your best friend. Planning meals ahead of time, cooking things ahead of time when you have the, uh, gaps of time, those are things that are definitely going to help you save money when you need to. And then of course, the obvious, grow what you can and can what you grow. Um, like I said before, okay, like you see all of these tomatoes behind me. These are coming from our garden and I actually have more to pick. Um, we have green beans, we have okra, we have squash and zucchini, uh, we have watermelon, we have strawberries in our freezer, um, we have pickles, we have relishes, we have jams. Uh, all of these things, we have pickled peppers. Being able to grow something and being able to put that in with our meals really helps with our budget. Also, we have chickens and they are actually finally now pulling their weight. Um, now that eggs are now over $2 a dozen at Aldi, um, our chickens are definitely pulling their weight around here now. So that is a blessing. But if you just do what you can where you are, you don't have to live on a lot of acres. You don't even have to live in the country. Even if you're just growing your own herbs in a pot, that really helps to boost the nutrition of your food as well as the flavor. Um, so definitely do not count anything short. Every bit counts. So those are my tips. Let me know down in the uh, comment section if you have any tips on how to trim the budget and feed your family well. I got one. Okay. I got a tip. Okay. So my tip is on the grocery days when you have to be really tight on your budget, just self-control because you're at the grocery, you're going to see those items that you want as treats, those luxury items, and mm -hmm. you're just going to have to have some, some willpower, some self-control not to get those when you normally would get them when, you know, you have surplus in your budget. Right. So just some self-control so you don't overspend on those days. Yeah, and if you are good in the kitchen, maybe you can figure out a way to make those things. Like, instead of buying cookies, make cookies. <laughs> good tip. Right, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay, so I hope you found those tips helpful. Um, I'm gonna get these groceries put up. I've got some planning to do, and I have got some cooking to do ahead of time to make sure that my family stays fed and happy <laughs> since I didn't, I wasn't able to get a lot of convenience foods. So um, with that said, because I am gonna be doing some uh, scratch cooking to put away, I will be bringing some videos coming up shortly. So be on the lookout for that. If you aren't subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button hang out with us. And like I mentioned before, if you have any tips or tricks that saves money on your grocery budget, please leave them down in the description box below. Let's help each other out. You guys have a great day. Until next time, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. And we'll catch you in the next one. God bless. Bye guys.